Yes, so it's been a long time Swansea has experienced snow. From what I've heard from my friends, colleagues, they said it's been over five years that we've seen that they've seen snow in Swansea. So everyone is excited. You're going to see so much excitement in this video. It's snowing in Swansea, guys. <laughs> it's my first time experiencing snow in my life. Like, bruh. Bruh, it's my first time experiencing snow. And the feeling is so real. Like, oh my god! It yeah, looks so really good. Nice. It looks good. It, it does so look beautiful. good. Everywhere looks so beautiful. The trees, you guys can see. Oh my god. I'm so excited. Hi! Hey, what's your name? My name is Omo. Oh, so nice to meet you, Omo. Yeah, same here. So she didn't know that there was there's something like Beckhouse yeah, okay. for Swansea yeah. University. But she watched my video yeah. and she applied. Yeah, are we experiencing our first snow yeah, ever? And it feels so good. Yeah. You guys should see. It's so cool. Oh, my God. Yeah. I feel so happy. So surreal. Like Everyone is exci excited for this snow because every other part of the UK, people have seen snow. England, Scotland, people have like experienced snow in December, January. But we in Swansea, in Wales, we have not experienced snow like this heavy. We are just looking at people's picture in England, Scotland, doing videos of snow. And I'm like, when are we going to experience our own snow? And lo and behold, today is the 8th of March and we're experiencing snow for the first time this year, 2023. <laughs> our own snow came late, but I, I love it. It looks good. I love it. <laughs> And it's not super super cold. It's still the same level of cold, but it's just everywhere is just white and so beautiful and so lovely and I'm so happy and it's still snowing heavy. So let me run upstairs and show my husband. My husband and I have to come to this grass here. Let me show you to do snowman. You know that snow bed. I'm coming out to do it, you guys. Oh day, are you shocked? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like, so my husband is shocked that like, it's, it's snowing outside. I just brought him outside now to see that there's snow everywhere. Yeah, Swansea don't even have snow. There's don't, snow. Yeah, Swansea, snow. like, Swansea hardly has, has snow. Someone said it, um, one of my colleagues told me yesterday that the last time that like, they experienced heavy snow like this in Swansea was about five years ago. That they hardly experienced snow. So when, when it snows a lot, it usually snows in England, Scotland more. <laughs> it doesn't snow in Swansea as much. So you see. So it's like that. <laughs> Uh -oh. oh my god guys i found my name say her name is mo fair she says she watches my channel oh my god oh this is so cute so nice to meet you mo fair oh you always watch my channel yeah oh i like you thank you it looks so surreal so one is playing outside kids parents so good I literally just woke up guys and I just had my bath. That's why you are seeing Uru everywhere. <laughs> right, so today might actually be the day we buy our car. Um, we already spoke to a guy, um, saw him on Facebook markets. We like the car and everything, it's within our budget. And we've sent him a message. He's bringing the car today to Swansea bus station. We're going to inspect it. If we like it, we'll pay for the car. Now, this car eh, is not something that we plan to buy anytime soon. But for my son's school, it's been, it's been really difficult taking him to school because we are using the bus. Now, if he goes to school, he's supposed to get to school by 1 o'clock. I have to leave home as early as 12 o'clock, like almost an hour before school for, for us to like catch the bus and not miss the bus, get to school. So it's like if I want to pick him up again at 3.20, I have to leave home like... 2 30 2 40 before for for me to get to his school by that time so it's really tough and most times when i'm really tired i just tell him to just sit at home i don't even take him to school at all and that has raised concerns with the school they've sent messages sent voice to me always asking about him am i not bringing away today am i not bringing away today but i've explained that we currently do not drive we are new immigrants in the uk and we are reliant on the bus and the bus system is very unreliable if you know what i'm talking about especially in swansea if you're like in birmingham manchester london where like the bus system is reliable that's fine but in swansea <laughs> if you get to a time like you'll be seeing the bus is only one hour like one hour interval and it's not easy for me but they still don't understand what i'm saying they don't get it because they all drive so it's looking like i'm just being an 
irresponsible mom or i'm just i just chose not to allow my son go to school but that's not the case it is that the bus is not reliable so i just decided to buy this car just to make sure that he stops missing school he's been missing school a lot he's been missing school a lot and i'm not happy about it and again for us it's easy for us to buy groceries it just helps everything honestly having a car in this country is not luxury it's a necessity so we had to in fact we have so many things that we should have done that are like above the car but we had to put the car in front just because it is very important i sh i've shied away from buying this car since but it's what we have to do now and there's nothing we can do it like it's unavoidable so we are going to get the car today if the car comes as advertised fine we're going to buy it but if it does not come as advertised we might just let it go and keep looking for like a perfect one because in my snap card now is fine everything is good by the time they bring it to you it looks opposite of what they posted so once everything is good fine we'll be coming on with the car today but if it's not i'll definitely keep you guys posted i'll let you guys know how far i'll let you guys know what's up if we end up buying the car or not so welcome back to a new vlog guys um i'll be taking you you know everything we do um i'll show you guys a step-by-step -step process of how to buy a car get your insurance um your license and everything later in another video but this is going to be a vlog where i'll be taking you guys everywhere i go this week or this day or whatever so welcome back to a new vlog my name is mofe by the way if it's your first time ever clicking on my video my name is mofe i am a content creator here in the uk i'm currently based in swansea um and i share my life i share my um, experience here in Swansea what we what we go through on a you know every now and then and of course fun things whatever whatever <laughs> I don't even know what to say at this point I'm just like really hungry I want to go and eat I'm very hungry I decided to start this vlog so I don't forget before we now step out I you guys just see Kaya one day where did this car come from so I'm giving you guys like a pre um an introduction to the video so you guys are not confused when you see a car Right, so let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> oh, ma, hey, hey, you know, the last time I showed you, I, I came on here, I told you guys we we're going to buy our car today, right? Hmm. So the guy came, oh, like I said, the guy came and we went, you know, he brought the car to the house and everything. We, we inspected it, it was good, perfect, MOT, right, and all. I'll still make a video of what you should look out for when you want to buy a car in the UK. Things that you should look out for so they will not scam you. We were almost calm today, and I'm going to make the video with. Should I make the video with you? I should just say it. Yes. Right, my husband is always shy. He said, No, he's not, he doesn't want to do video with me. So let me say my thing. Oh, my, this guy came. Hmm. It was downstairs. I went downstairs, checked everything. Everything was good. My, something in my mind just told me, and it's, it's not even something. He's the Holy Spirit pricking me. And I, he already gave me there's this sleep they give you new new owner sleep. The new owner sleep would carry the vehicle reference number, just like vehicle registration number that we have in Nigeria. Now, so so I just my mind was just always people just telling me that I should tell my husband to call one of our friends that have bought a car. He just bought a car recently. I just, my, mom would just, my mom would just telling him, I said, babe, call Dave, call Dave, call him, call, don't let me call somebody's name, don't let me mention his name. I'm just like, call him, call him, let him come and check this thing. Let's, let us make sure if that is the same thing that happened with this car so that we will not get scammed. I'll say it in Yoruba because the guy that came is Romanian. I asked him, he said he's from Roma, like he's Romanian because he had all this Arab accent and all. And I was good with him. His name is Stefan. We we're talking, everything was good. So I, I was just saying, my husband, Yoruba, baby boy, he come up our walk, he come out bawa. I said this in Yoruba. That's so my husband called the guy. The guy, luckily for us, the guy was at home. So we told him to come downstairs and come and check the car. Want to buy? It. Let him check the papers and see if everything is the same thing that they gave to him when he bought his own car. That's so the guy come down, say, ah, okay, everything is good. But he's supposed to go on gov.uk website and tell the good UK government, tell DVLA that he has sold the car to us like it's very easy the same way you apply for your BRP card it's very easy all you need to do is go to gov.uk there's this step by step process you follow you put his name you put our own name like the owner I said should put my own name put his name then just tell them that he has sold this, the car to us on so so date that's all then immediately we the buyers will get an email telling us that we bought the car from him that way 
he, he has informed the government that he has sold the car to us. So no, there's nothing like tea for nothing. That's what the guy said. No, 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 no. I cannot do it now. The reference number is in the office. I cannot use this reference number. This reference number on the slip. Papa, I'm, I'm saying something important. Sorry. This reference number on the slip is not the correct reference number. The correct reference number is in my office. I said, why do you need to come with the correct reference number? Why well, you know you want to sell it to somebody? I'm supposed to come with the correct reference number. He said, no, 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 no. I said, there's okay. nothing you can tell me. So that the guy that bought a car before that is our friend. I don't know if you guys can hear me. Sorry for the in in interruption. I've already sent him away. As I was saying, so my friend that was there now said no, that he has bought two cars now. And every time he buys a car, they are always changing the ownership right in front of him that is no ad that all he has to do is go to god.uk website and just tell dvla it's simple it's, you don't even need to type anything just, all you need to do is be clicking yes no i've sold it i've not sold it Bla simple he said no 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 my friend doesn't know what to say i'm not supposed to listen to my friend i'm supposed to listen to him he's a car dealer he's the one selling car he has sold 500 cars he has sold he has been selling car for six years he's a professional he's selling car blah 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 i say ah my friend has said two cars two different times they did this in front of him so why is my own different i say please i don't i trust you whatever but can you just do this thing in my front so i can have rest of mind that you have told the god you told the uk government that you sold this car to me he said no he can't do that he cannot do that i said okay, if you cannot do it please refund my money because at that point i had already paid ah god have mercy like the car is the car was so fine everything good i checked the mot it was only mot i was after mot is like road wordiness in nigeria road that road wording, like that mot shows you that the car is good it, it shows you that the car is good for the next one year there won't be any problem or mechanical problem with the car for the next one year so i saw that the car has 12 month mot so there won't be issues my brothers and sisters this guy refused to do it too. He says he's not going to tell the company to take a UK anything. He's going to do it in his office. Do I know his office? No. I don't even know his name. I don't know where it's from. I don't know his office. So if he goes, that's the end. I said they should give my money back. Well, I'm going to involve the police right now. The moment I mention police, the boy started to shake. He started raising his voice. You cannot tell me anything. I've been selling car for the past 20. Knicka, knicka, knicka. He was just talking. I said, I don't care. If I've been selling car for donkey years, if you cannot tell gov.uk that you sold this car to me, like my friend that said, I even opened the website for him. I opened it. He had just filling all the details. He said, no, he's not going to do it. He's going to do it at the comfort of his own time, in his own house, in his, in his office, blah, blah, blah. I said, ah. Job about coming on you go buy. I work out for this money. Ah, you know how many how many uh, months of eh? I beg, don't worry, give me my money back. I paid you money, I've made mistake. Now I've learned that before I spend money, everything has to be clear. Please give me my money back. He said, No, no, I'm not going to get it. Ah, as far as my husband just para as that one, those shrub, small, small, small crease. That I just buckle up. I gave him my account number and he sent my money to me. As he was going, he was talking. Hey, you people, can can That's your edict. We almost got scammed. So please, if you are going to buy a car, I'll make a detailed video of what you should look out for. Because now I've learned. I've learned so that my friend has now sat us down and explained step by step what we should look for anytime we want to buy a car. And now we've learned. So we're going to try other people this week. And we are definitely going to get a car by God's grace. And I'll definitely keep you guys posted. But look out for that video. Step by step process of how to buy a car in the UK. There are scammers here too. As far as abroad, abroad, abroad does not mean there are no scammers. There are scammers here too. And you need to be very careful. So um, please avoid Romanian, Albanian, blah, blah. I know they are the good ones though. But if you are buying a car from Romanian, Arab, Indian, However, those people, I'm not, just be careful. Make sure that you check, check, check. Or make sure that you just buy your car from a direct seller. Someone that is driving the car wants to sell it to you. Don't buy a car from car dealer because the guy said he's a car dealer. That one, I'm ruling it out finally. I'm going to buy a car from a personal owner. And never ever from a car dealer. So I'll let you guys know the process, um, the progress. When we get a car, I'll definitely feel you guys in. I just thought to come and tell you because I'm just coming from downstairs now. We just finished drama. I just finished out like a mad woman now downstairs and collecting my money back. So, thank you guys for listening to my rant to my, my brothers and my sisters. Thank you. I'll let you guys know how far. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for sticking up to this point. Subscribe, like, and share. Bye. Mwah. Guys, no one prepares you for the stress of buying a car. Like, viewing and not liking and, you know, 
like I said in my other clips, I'm sure by now I've explained how, how one guy wanted to scam off, scam out of our added money. <laughs> so we didn't buy that guy's car, of course. We got our money back, and then we saw another viewing at Bridgend, Bridgend, Swansea. Okay, I've seen the car. I like the car. I'm coming to Bridgend. I told the owner, give me your number. He said, no, they cannot give his number to strangers. Okay, no problem. When I get to Bridgend, I'll send you a message, Abby. No wahala. I'm a new driver. I told him again. Sorry, like, my mouth is bringing out the fog. I've been a mist. So, let me try to clear the camera. I'm coming back. <laughs> okay, so, I'm a new driver in the UK. When I come and pick up the car, and I like it, and I pay, could you help me please drive it down? Because even the first guy, he agreed to bring it, and he brought it. And another guy before that has agreed to bring a car, so it's not a big deal. See, you're the one selling. I'll come to your bridge and I'll check it. If I like it, I pay. Could you please help me drive it down? Because bridge to Swansea is just like about 20 minutes. Baba said, eh, I'm too busy for that. Ah, I say, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. It's not a get problem. It's not like I can buy a car now. I've never driven in the UK before. I cannot come and start driving, I will drive it. So we just let that one go. So my, my here. So my husband suggested that we go to this garage where they sell cars. Because like, there are some garages here in Swansea where they like display so many cars. And so we're just going there now to check the garage and see if we find anyone that we like and it's within our price budget, right? So I'm taking you guys along now and I'll see you when I get there, okay? Okay, the bus now, all the way to Morriston. This car looks like a champion like this. Well, finally, yeah, guys, the place is called the, the Car Warehouse Swansea. From what we saw online, we saw like so many cars are there for sale. So we are going to go. It's very big from what I'm seeing. It's very, very, very big. And there's so many cars here. Yay! I hope you found our car today. Pray for me. Pray for me. I hope you find our car today. <laughs> it's snowing and raining together. In Nigeria, if it's raining and if there's sun and rain, they'll say lion, lion is giving birth. So in the UK now, that is snowing and raining. Yeah. Beer is giving birth. <laughs> So let's hope we get some. Right, so we got here. The name of this place is called Car Warehouse. It's in Morriston. If you stay in Swansea, I'm sure you know where Morriston is. It's very big, guys. It's massive. But as soon as we got in, we thought everything was brand new because like the cars were looking sparkling. But when um the attendant came, um he told us that it's not brand new. It's used. They are all used cars, but they um they they repaint they repair everything they make it brand new again they like they, they give it like a very crispy eye standard so i'm like oh my god everything is shining the paints oh my, everything is just just like they threw me in the middle of cake in the middle of food i'm like what it looks so good look at this one eight five and they're not like really really expensive and they offer financing options where you can you know pay a portion of the money and then spread the remaining payments for like a number of years but they have a requirement you need to have a good credit score and you need to have like a very long visa if you're an immigrant so if you have like a five year long visa you can always go to these guys like that one for eight five now you can give them like 4k and spread the remaining four five or whatever you know it's a very like they have really lovely cars and i'm telling you like nah i saw like brand of cars luxury Benz, audi bmw like amazing amazing brands of cars and it was so lovely but we could we didn't we couldn't buy anyone because it's like of course it's like way above our budget it's our first car in the uk and we've been here barely six months so it's like no like it's way above our budget but eventually when we are like very settled i'll definitely come and buy a car here because their cars are really good very good prices and they offer financing options and that's like one of the major things that can help people buy something you know when you give them like options to spread the payment but there's like interest i think the guy said there's about 13.5 interest on it on the financing option if you want to spread the payment i think um it they also offer warranty of 12 months and 24 months it depends on the range of car you buy i'm saying all this um from the information the attendant gave to us i'm not like this is not an ad for them in any way we just went there to look for a car but like they are really good but we are above our budget so we just did like 
a tour we walked around i made a video for you guys and i'll be here later so if you have the money to pay at once definitely check them out guys it's amazing it's snowing again we came outside to the snow so guys th those cars are like oh my god they're like fresh bread they're like cake those cars are very fine i'm like god see car now hey let me clean my camera it's quite messy. <laughs> FRF motors. Um, see car, see car. And they accept financing. So if, if you're in the UK and you're in like in a, on a work visa, on a tier two visa, that's more than that's three years and above, you can ask, you can get financing. Like for example, if you see a car of ten thousand pounds, you can pay five thousand pounds and pay the rest over the years of your visa visa period. You get so like. It's amazing like the cars they are just mad and they're not new but the way they 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 repaint it refurbish it the car is mad. it looks like brand new i know you guys should come here if you have the money and you can afford to buy it even if you're not in like a work visa if you can afford to pay outright click up with someone there eight five how much is eight five if you're like very stable how much is eight five you know man that car is mad those cars are mad that's what i have to say it's snowing so i have to stop this video <laughs> i'll talk better when i'm home i'm under a shade now so i can talk like i'm saying like i was saying so if you have like a long visa here yeah, you can definitely buy a car there and if you can afford to buy it pay outrightly pay outrightly it's mad like and the guy was lovely the guy that attended to us very lovely guy so but because we cannot afford you know the cars they're like eight five ten k and we don't want that much we have a budget so there's this guy i already spoke to online i'll go to his place now i booked an appointment for with him for four and it's almost 4 p.m so we're going to check out that car it's very close to our house very very close just had a city center funny city center so if we go there and we like the car we are buying it to them and if we don't like it we'll keep searching um let's go let's go i don't really i don't know the color of the car is blue so that's why like i'm like i don't think i might take it but if i get there and then in I've seen that the car is very good. It has passed the MOT. Like I said, I'll still make a video of what you guys should look out for when you want to buy a car. MOT is like road worthiness in Nigeria. Once a car passes the MOT, it means the car is good for the next year. The car would not have like any major mechanical issue for the next one year. So the guy, the car has good MOT. He just did it today. And so it's fresh. It means the car is good. So we'll check it out. And if I like it, I might not just mind the color. I might not mind the bright blue color because i like very cool colors i might not mind it and i we might buy it and if not we'll just keep waiting till we get our perfect car check out my look share we should be going let's go see my see my see my jacket rain and snow everything has beaten me it's all right it's all right we shall be all right i'll see you later <laughs> yeah so guys i'm editing the vlog now and i realized that i didn't finish it um so i'm gonna finish it now so we went to view the car like i said in my last clip but we liked it it wasn't bad but we when we offered our price the guy was he did not accept the price so oh, on to the next <laughs> on to the next though um i'll definitely keep you guys updated because we have to we have to buy it today again my mom was taking my son to school buses are not just reliable it, they are just annoying and having a car is not luxury it's a necessity i shied away from buying it for a very long time because i have other important things to attend to but at this point i have to so we have to so we are still on like a, a search we are still looking for um eventually when everything works out and we like finish everything i'll definitely come back and let you guys know i'll let you guys know i'll do a review and i'll make the video on what to look out for when you want to buy a car that's for new newcomers people that do not know right so yes i decided to end the video and let you guys know give you guys an update so don't worry don't worry when everything is done you guys will definitely know thank you for watching up until this moment if you watch up until this point you are the real real mvp i love you thank you for watching my videos thank you for engaging please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video guys bye for now Mwah. Hmm.